Hey, up, and good day, everyone. This is Sports Fan News. I'm Joe Bork, and this is going to be a quick video on how the New York Yankees made the postseason. Those damn Yankees. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. I ain't a Yankees fan whatsoever. My second team in the AL is actually the Red Sox because of uh, my love for that team there in that city. But uh, I will go over how the Yankees made it and try to be as unbiased as possible as they are playing my Red Sox tonight in the wild card game. And I will be doing a preview for that game later this afternoon. But the Yankees, of course, their rotation is led by Garrett Cole, who's going to be pitching tonight. He had a 3-2-3 RA, 243 strikeouts, just missed 250 and only 181 innings pitched. Um, his postseason numbers are very good, a 2-6-80 RA in his career and 108 strikeouts and 84 innings and a .88 whip. Um, so he's been very good in the postseason. Um, for the Yankees, of course... A huge guy that's really stepped up for them this year has been Aaron Judge. Aaron Judge has been a menace to all of baseball when he's been healthy this season. He's had 39 home runs and 98 RBIs, a 287 average. That's why people were mentioning him in the MVP conversation. And then also this season, after he got rid of the Boo Birds at the beginning of the season, um, Gian Carlos Tan had a hell of a year at 35 home runs and 97 RBIs, and that's what you want from your big pay ticket item there, to be right there with Aaron Judge being the two big supporters in that lineup and really providing for that lineup, along, of course, with the guy that they were able to bring in that plays to that stadium because of the power potential, and also was a fantastic fielder in Joey Gallo. He just can't hit for the batting averages of the other two cats of Stan. And Aaron Judge, but is a very good guy to mix into your lineup. Plus, they brought in the acquisition of Anthony Rizzo, who's not the same old Anthony Rizzo, but still had 22 home runs and 61 RBIs, and still was a nice acquisition. So you got those nice veteran leaders in your lineup. Um, plus, you just have very good pitching all in all. You got Gio Urshela, who's another great guy to mix into your lineup. So obviously, these Yankees are not very good, but you have decent pitching. Um, all in all, and then you got a very good lineup is what I meant to say, um, where the Yankees pitching has been more what the surprise has been this year, where earlier, of course, I misspoke. I meant to say you have a very good lineup and solid pitching, but Garrett Cole's been great. A guy that's emerged for them this year mm -hmm. has been Nestor mm -hmm. Cortez, who's been huge for them in 22 games and 93 innings pitch. He has a 290 ERA. So he's really been able to step up for them and be a big ticket item out of that pen. So has Michael King in 22 appearances. He's been big on the year. He also had one postseason appearance in his uh, pocket in the past. Excuse me. Uh, Wandy Peralta, the veteran, has also been good as a lefty for the Yankees this year. So they brought in a lot of guys that have experience, maybe not success in all their experience but guys that have some experience have been around in the bullpen that are trying to make it so all these guys kind of have been able to hit for them this year another example would be clay holmes who's pitched fairly well in uh 69 games this year to a 360 ra and 78 strikeouts so he's been a pretty nice addition for them as well and then they of course have chad green who's been there done that and you know what you're going to get from him so this Yankees team is a very solid and consistent bullpen. The concern for me when it would come to going deep into the postseason would be once you get, and also Luis Severino hasn't pitched that much this year, so what will he be able to do in the postseason? That's a number numero uno. Concern for me, he's pitched good in four games, but what are you going to get from Louis? The other thing, though, is what are you going to get at most? What's the most you're going to get beyond Garrett Cole and Luis Severino, um, and if you decide to maybe pitch uh, Devi Garcia um, out of that um, starting rotation, because to me, Domingo Herman is all right. Devi Garcia is not really ready to pitch yet, but it's got amazing stuff. Uh, Corey Kluber has been good and solid this year, but he hasn't been amazing. He hasn't been the old Corey Kluber, so... What are you going to get from him in the postseason? So my biggest concern is what are you going to get from the aging Corey Kluber? You know what you're going to get from Garrett Cole. What are you going to get from Luis Severino? Because he hasn't been healthy. That might actually be a positive on the spin because he's going to be fully energized, not be tired, not be worn out, not have any bugaboos like these other guys, and might be able to just tear it apart and be right there at the top with Garrett Cole, which would then lead to probably some pretty damn good playoff success for the Yankees. 
But the concern or the concern for me is will that be able to come into fruition for them this year? Because they're gonna need it. They're gonna need somebody to be consistent like that. Where Jordan Montgomery's been good this year as well, but he doesn't really have any playoff experience. So what are you gonna get from him? My concern for the Yankees is not in their bullpen. It definitely ain't in their lineup. It's more beyond the Garrett Coles of the world. Beyond the Luis Severino, if you're going to be able to get the real Luis Severino since he's only pitching a handful of games, literally a handful, only four since coming back, not even a full handful. Um, what are you going to get from those guys? And then what are you going to get from Jordan Montgomery who doesn't have the playoff experience? That That's the concern for me. What are you going to get from the deep of that rotation? That doesn't obviously matter for the wild card game. But for once you get into the postseason, that is going to matter. So that will be my concern. Their lineup is going to be flawless with the Aaron Judges of the world and stands as long as they can stay healthy. You brought in Kyle Schwartz, or not Kyle Schwartz, but the Red Sox have Kyle Schwartz. You brought in, um, of course, Anthony Rizzo is who I meant to say. The other lefty from the Cubs, just thinking of different um, Cubs guys there. Um, so the, the, he was able to play very well. You brought in Joey Gallo. So you have a very good, pivotal, crucial lineup. The question for me is how deep is your rotation going to go in the postseason, which is a question for not just the Yankees, but also other teams in the postseason as well. But they are one of the teams that definitely fall into the category of how deep will their rotation go. I hope everybody enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe. It, I, we, yeah, I really appreciate it. It really helps the channel grow, and I really appreciate all your support. Stay safe out there. And uh, congratulations, Yankees fans, as much as I hate to give it because I'm not a big Yankee, uh, Yankee supporter actually at all. Uh, but congratulations to you all for making the playoffs. Like, comment, and subscribe down below or up top on the easy widget. Stay safe out there, everybody. And the MLB playoffs are here. They are here, baby. Enjoy them. Peace out, everybody.